There's much suffering in this world. There's cancer, there's war. But have you ever suffered for the cause of Christ? Because of your identification with Jesus Christ, have we suffered because of that? The Apostle Paul wrote Timothy, and he said, But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, and then he says, persecutions, afflictions, which happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. And out of them all the Lord delivered me, yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Jesus said, If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecute me, they will also persecute you. But he goes on to say, if they kept my word, they will keep yours also. You know, so often we run in circles of Christians. We go to church. Uh, we're so involved in church activities and things like that. And, and then perhaps we work with other Christians. We fellowship during the week with other Christians. But I remember what a friend of mine said. He said, no one ever got saved watching your hubcaps go to church on Sunday morning. I think the question has to be answered in our life. How much of an impact am I making for Christ? If I've never suffered for my testimony in Christ, for my stand against ungodliness or, or having taken the opportunity to sit down with somebody and talk to them about their relationship with Christ and have them slam a door in your face or laugh at you or mock or just basically not want to be your friend anymore. Have we ever suffered? Do we suffer for the cause of Christ? Do we suffer because of our testimony for Jesus and our identification with him in this world? The Bible says we will if we really are his. And I think we have to answer that question. How much are we following Jesus? And how much of a disciple am I of Jesus Christ if I've never suffered for that relationship. We can call on him when we have a problem. We can pray for others. We can worship. We can sing. We can go hear the message of God's word. But are we suffering because of our testimony for Christ? And if not, perhaps we better check out our salvation or our commitment to the things of God and our commitment to following Christ. Because he says, we will suffer persecution. Jesus said, blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven, for in like manner their fathers did to the prophets. Oh, listen, Paul said, I count all things as waste that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. Is there enough about our Christian life that we can say we have suffered for the cause of Christ and have made a difference in this world? for Jesus.